Hey guys, so today I did just a really simple, um, kind of neutral, smoky, slightly smoky eye with a matte lip. Um, we've got some lashes, and if you watch the video, I will list all of the products as we go along um, and kind of explain how I did them. Um, if you would please click the like and subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And I hope you like this look, and we'll talk to you later. Bye! All right, so I'm starting off with the BB cream. This is in the shade medium. Um, I usually just apply this with my hands, just like moisturizer. Um, this is basically a tinted moisturizer with added oomph to it. Um, it has uh, skincare, it has an SPF of 15, and it's going to kind of color correct me, um, you know, just kind of uh, hide any redness and give me an even complexion. And then I use that underneath my foundation typically. So this is the Stay Matte Foundation in the shade 03. Um, I believe the shade name is Natural. And I apply this with a damp uh, beauty sponge. I put about, I would say, a, a, a dime size amount on that beauty sponge. And then I am just dabbing it in. I'm not rubbing. I'm actually kind of bouncing that sponge um, on my face and it gives just a really nice airbrushed finish. Um, this matte foundation is ideal for someone with an oily skin type and it will control that shine all day while giving a completely matte finish. Um, and then this is the full coverage concealer. The shade name is Pure Beige and I'm going to apply this just under my eyes kind of in a long triangle shape so down the sides of the nose and then straight up um, to the outer corner of the eye and then I just take the same beauty sponge and it's still damp and I'm going to blend out um, that foundation with just again small little bouncing motions with that sponge Okay, and this is the uh, Face Perfecting Powder. It is in the shade Neutral Medium. I'm taking a really small, kind of densely packed powder brush and um, pressing that into where I put that concealer. This is gonna set that concealer really nicely so it doesn't crease. And then I also apply it um, all over my lids just to kind of conceal any um, redness and deep veins, um, dark veins that I have going on through the face or through the eyes, I'm sorry. And then I go in with just with a really fluffy powder brush and this is how I apply that same powder all over my face. And that's just gonna set the foundation and really keep the shine at bay. Um, then I am brushing my, uh, the brow hair straight up and I'm gonna go in with the brow mascara. It's in the shade dark brown, which is the darkest shade we have. Now, I've been doing just this on my brows lately and absolutely loving it. Um, I used to only use this product if I was doing kind of a no makeup makeup look just to make it look like I have brows. <laughs> um, but now, no matter what the look, this is what I've been doing because it's so easy. Um, it really fills in the brows and helps them to literally match um, my hair color since I dye it darker than what my... Um, natural color is. Uh, this is the Sun Kissed Bronzing Powder. I'm just showing you how freaking huge this container is. Um, all of our products are so freaking cheap and affordable. I believe this bronzer is $19 and you get a container that's like literally the size of your head. Um, and I'm just applying this um, kind of just where the sun hits you naturally uh, just to warm the face back up. So back at the cheekbones, sides of the forehead, um, you know, in the temples, and then down the uh, both sides of your jawline, and then blending it down your neck. Okay, and this is one of our cream shadows. Uh, the shade name is Orange Pop, and it's a really warm, um, kind of shimmery brown with an orangey tone. And I'm applying this with a synthetic brush because a synthetic brush is um, typically best to use with cream products. Um, these cream shadows are completely smudge-proof, crease-proof, transfer-proof, and waterproof. 
Um, I'm applying it all over the lid, blending it up into the crease, and then taking a little bit down underneath the eye just to kind of make it all uniform. And then this is one of our mono shadows, so it's just an individually packaged um, eyeshadow. And the shade is Coffee Brown, and it's a little bit of a shimmery uh, dark brown. And I'm using, um, this is just a uh, crease brush from MAC, and I'm using it to deepen up the outer corner of my eye. This is gonna look not the best at first um, until we kind of get it all blended out. But this is how I'm kind of making that smoky eye effect. You just kind of let the brush do its work, um, place it in the outer corner and blend up into the crease. And then I put a little underneath the eye um, on the lower lash line, but just in the outer corner. I kind of pack it on that outer um, corner and then blend it out. And then this is just a really large fluffy brush with nothing on it. And I'm going over um, the edges of that color just to make sure that everything is nice and seamless. Okay, and then this is another mono shadow. This is the shade of Black Tide and it's just a matte black going in with a really precise pointy brush. Um, this is actually, I believe it's Louise Young. It's the LY38 brush. But anything that's really pointy like this will work and that's gonna get the product kind of really densely in just the crease area. And then it's fluffy enough that it will also kind of blend it out from there. And this is just to add a little more depth and dimension to the look and make it a little more smoky. And I just kind of apply the product, blend, apply more blend until I get the consistency I want. Um, and then I'm going in with the same brush that I used to apply the coffee brown. And I'm going over everything there in that outer corner just to make sure that it's all blended nice. Then I'm just um, actually taking the face powder that I used before. I didn't want anything really shimmery as like a highlight, so I'm just using the powder to um, apply it to my brow bone and kind of, again, just blend everything out really nice. Uh, this is the Extra Last Eye Pencil, just the shade black. I'm gonna take that into my waterline under my eye. Or, I'm sorry, the waterline on my uh, lower, lash, lower lash line. And, um, this is a waterproof pencil, so it stays pretty well all day. And then I'm going to do a line on the top lash line. I'm not being super precise with this at all. I'm just kind of making sure that the line is um, thicker on the outer corner than it is the inner. And then I'm taking this brush. This is one of the pharmacy brushes. It has a flat shader brush at one end and then the other end is a smudger which is what I'm using there and same thing on the other eye um, I like almost always to smudge my top liner because it means I can just kind of slap the uh, the eyeliner on pretty quickly and not worry about it being perfect because we're just gonna smudge it out but it also gives a really nice smoky look Here I've applied my lashes. These are the um, just some cheap ones from Amazon. The brand is Christina, and they're actually an exact dupe for the Red Cherry number 43s. And then this is one of our blushes. It's the shade Sweet Almond. I freaking love our blushes. They're so pigmented. We have so many pretty colors. And for $9, you can't go wrong. And then this is my favorite shade of our matte liquid lips. Uh, the shade is Brave, it's the number 205. Our matte lips um, go on completely opaque, they dry down matte, and then they are smudge proof, transfer proof, and waterproof. I love them so, so much. This is kind of my favorite um, everyday go-to shade. And 
that's pretty much the look. And then I'm gonna go in with our uh, makeup time locker spray and just kind of spray everything down. Make sure we're good to go. And you guys have a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Woop <laughs> woop